reading through a couple, I have to say, obviously the, probably the oldest pricing model I can find is auctions. So Joseph with his coat of many Technicolor coat and many colors and so forth, was actually sold into slavery by his brothers as part of an auction. Um, and then in the, during the Great Fire of London in 1666, um, the boatmen on the River Thames actually doubled or tripled their fares to evacuate passengers from the, um, the north side of the River Thames to the south side. So theoretically, you know, you can trace the origins of surge pricing back to, um, to 1666, if you like. They also used to have hangings at Tyburn, which is a, you know, a, a part of West London, which is, is no longer called Tyburn. But the, to go and watch a hanging, as, as entertaining as that might be, there was, there was higher prices could be commanded depending on the level of interest in the person being hung. So we've actually had dynamic pricing around for quite a long time. Jack the Ripper, you'd, you know, you'd get a get higher coin for Jack the Ripper versus you know, your little petty thief that was, um, picking pockets in Covent Garden or something. So 